this video, we're going to look at the Choose Columns function in Google Sheets. The Choose Columns does exactly what you think it would. It allows you to look at a data set and select and pull back only the columns that you want to display. So in this example, I have a data set of employee records. We have first name, last name, employee ID, department, status and hire date and what we want to do here is use the choose columns to display only the columns that we choose so the first input is the array that's going to be the entire data set and then the next inputs are the column numbers that we want to pull back and one thing I really like about this function is they don't have to be in any particular order so if I wanted to display the last name first I could simply input a value of 2 if I want to input the first name second I can input 1 if I want to skip a column and not pull in the employee ID I can do that pull it in the department and for now, we'll just pull in the status column. So what I also like about this function is if you have just a large number of columns and you'd like to get the position starting at the far right end, you can input negative numbers. So if I wanted to pull in the higher date which is the last column I can simply input a negative one if I want to pull in the second to last column input a negative two and there it is so that makes it a little easier if you have a lot of columns what you can also do is nest this within other functions so you could use this within the filter function to display only certain columns in your filter output so if we nest this inside the filter our first argument the range is actually the output of what we've already created here with this choose columns so all we really need to do is input our criteria for the filter so in this case we'll do anyone in column E who is full-time and there it is we have a filter output with columns in the order we want and only the columns that we want to display well that is all for now Thanks for watching.